happened last night? I've got like a super busy day. Okay. So. Not really a morning person. Okay. Okay. I barely know this guy. And now I'm expected to quarantine with him for 14 days? You say that, but you did just have intercourse together. Oh, please. It's like a handshake in the gay community. Which, from what I've read, is a great way for the virus to spread. Coronavirus and handshakes, of course. Hey, what's the elbow bump of the gay community? Rimming. Look, this is a fling. Casual sex. Nothing more. We know what it is, so no one gets hurt. Wilfred said he was into that type of arrangement, but I am not convinced he is. I mean, last time, he left a toothbrush here. And now he's talking about going to a farmer's market next weekend. That son of a bitch is trying to attach strings. Exactly. I've been meaning to rip the band-aid off for a while, but I haven't because, well, you know, why ruin a good thing? But cohabitate for a fortnight? Cook meals together? Let him just add whatever he wants to my streaming lists? That's anarchy. No way. No. Nope. Not happening. Bob Woolsey is an island. Hey, making some coffee. You want uh, some? Uh, yes. Okay, pal. Thanks. Thank you. You see what I mean? This guy's a psycho. You gotta ask him to leave, but do it politely. Leave the door open so in a couple weeks when all this coronavirus stuff blows over, you can bang him again. But close the door physically when he leaves. Figurative door open, literal door closed. You know I don't do confrontations. So confront him without actually confronting him. Look, there's this thing I figured out a few years ago where you get the person to believe the thing you want them to believe so they do the thing you want them to do without explicitly telling them. It takes some time, but it has a pretty good success rate. So you're suggesting I gaslight him? Oh, there's a term for that now? <sighs> what have you got? Imagine this. Are you imagining? Great. First, grab the bleach from under the sink. Second, pour it directly into his cough. Yada, 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 he's dead as shit. Thirdly, and most important thing, get rid of the body. Fourth and final thing, have a snack. You deserve it. I am not going to prison over this. Figure out what they can indict me on and, like, back it off a bit. I got it. You fake having the disease. They have a pill for that now. It's basically cured. No, not that disease. The other one. The topical one. The one that comes with the fashion accessory. Ahem! <coughs> oh! I don't feel good. I think my head aches and I might have fluid in my lungs. You should probably get out of here while the getting's good. I mean, if you're sick, I'm probably sick already anyway. You can be asymptomatic for up to five days, according to Beer Daddy Trudeau. Oh my god. You're burning up. Don't worry. I won't abandon you. So, none of that worked. Plus, I found out Wilfred is equally as caring as he is stupid. I'm not burning up. My head's a cool 98.6 degrees on a bad day. Yeah, that's a weird thing to say, but I think we can do this. I mean, you've pushed people away before, right? Warren, for example. Oh, you're referring to the situation over a decade ago when I, as a gay man, was friends with a straight woman who became sexually attracted to me because I was in the closet and had yet to tell anyone, besides you and my parents and my position. That's the situation you're describing as me driving someone away? Sorry, what? I wasn't paying attention. I was busy trying to add Lauren to this video chat. It was hard to find her because her last name's different. Who changes their name, by the way? Bob? Andrew! Hey, Lauren! Quick question. By the way, you look great. What's it been, like, five, six years? So coronavirus, huh? Crazy. Anyways, what made you fall out of love with Bob? Oh, boy. <sighs> so many things. Hey. I mean, number one, and I think the most obvious is he was gay. Is gay. Well, to be fair, you were gay back then, too. Past tense is still a tense. Mm. He's pretty selfish. I mean, he's so terrified of confrontation that he'll lie, dodge, stoop to just about any load to avoid telling someone how he really feels. I feel seen. If you could boil down all of his failings and shortcomings and missed opportunities into one behavior, what would that behavior be? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's easy. Hey, where did you keep disappearing off to? I don't want to lie anymore. We're going to get to know each other really well over the next little while, so 
I need to introduce you to my best friend, Andrew. My friendship with him explains more about me than anything I could ever say. Hello, Wilfred. Interesting name, by the way. I have some questions about that that we'll circle back to later. Anyways, my name is Andrew. Anyone that Bob gets close to is also close to me by default. I guess you could say I'm the COVID-19 of people. Are you sure you don't want to stay? I think I'm afraid of the virus. Well, see ya. Who knew my most despicable character trait was being friends with you? Oh, I think that's been clear for some time. Now let's patch in my uncle Terry Warburton. He's got a line on some Croatian toilet paper. It's quarter ply, off the stuff. But we're gonna sell it outside of the Walmart. You know, undercut those fascist pieces of shit. You know, drink a few beer, whatever happens, happens. Two meters apart, of course. You in? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fucking in. All right, bring a knife. Mm -hmm.